From a rising tennis star to battling his mind and body, Marty Fish's journey is one of resilience and courage. While the world of tennis stays curious about his inspiring story, there is still a lot about the U.S. tennis star that remains a mystery. After starting his professional tennis journey in the year 2000, he quickly established himself as a talented player before his promising career was hampered by severe anxiety and heart disorders. In this video, we take you on an inspiring journey through the story of Marty Fish, a U.S. tennis star who conquered his inner demons. Marty Fish's journey in tennis began at a young age, and he showed tremendous promise from the very start. Growing up in Vero Beach, Florida, Fish had the guidance of his father, who was a well-known tennis instructor. This resulted in a natural inclination towards the sport. With his father, Tom Fish, as his coach, he began to polish his skills and eventually became a highly accomplished junior player. Fish won the USTA Boys 16 National Championship in 1998, showcasing his talent and potential to the world. His success as a junior player paved the way for him to turn professional in 2000 at the age of 18. His first professional tournament was the USA F-13 Futures event held in McAllen, Texas, where he competed in the singles and doubles draws. In his debut singles match, Fish defeated Ramon Delgado of Paraguay in straight sets, 6-3, 6-4. He then advanced to the quarterfinals, where he faced Marco Cudinelli of Switzerland, but lost in three sets, 6-4, 6-7, 2-6. In doubles, Fish partnered with Robert Kendrick, and the pair reached the semifinals before losing to the top-seeded team of Jonathan Elric and Andy Ram in straight sets. After his debut, Fish continued to compete in Futures and Challenger events, gradually working his way up in the rankings. He won his first Challenger title in 2002, and by the end of the year, he had broken into the top 100 for the first time. Fish quickly made his presence felt in the ATP Tour and earned his first ATP singles title just two years later at the Delray Beach International Tennis Championship in 2002, defeating Germany's Rainer Schuttler in the final. But during his early tennis journey, Fish met someone who would become a very important figure in his life, Andy Roddick. Marty Fish and Andy Roddick first met as teenagers when they competed against each other in junior tennis tournaments. Both of them were promising young players at the time and quickly established a friendly rivalry. Their friendship grew as they both turned professional and began competing on the ATP Tour. They often played doubles together and practiced together frequently. They shared a similar competitive spirit and sense of humor, which helped them bond even more. As they continued to play on the tour, Fish and Roddick became even closer friends. They won two ATP Tour doubles titles together at the Queens Club in 2004 and the Cincinnati Masters in 2008. They were often seen hanging out off the court and attending events together. They also worked together to raise money for various charitable causes, including the Andy Roddick Foundation. But during his professional career, something happened that would go into the history books forever. Fish's career suffered a critical blow as he struggled to improve his game. He faced a series of injuries throughout his professional tennis career, including a severe ankle sprain in 2011 that forced him to withdraw from the Australian Open. He also dealt with hip and knee injuries that required treatment and affected his performance on the court. But he fought back stronger than ever. In 2011, Marty Fish had a breakthrough season that saw him reach several career milestones including his first appearance in the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals. Earlier in the year, Fish reached the semifinals at the 2011 Delray Beach International Championship, losing to the resurgent, eventual champion, Juan Martin Del Porto. Later that year, Fish had what he described as a revelation. After losing in the second round of the US Open, he realized that he needed to make significant changes to his diet and fitness regimen to compete at the highest levels of the sport. Fish worked with a nutritionist and began following a strict diet, cutting out processed foods and focusing on whole, nutrient-dense foods. He also increased his fitness training, incorporating more high-intensity interval training and weightlifting into his routine. These changes paid off in a big way for Fish, as he went on to have one of the best seasons of his career. He reached the quarterfinals of Wimbledon for the first time, defeating Joel Wilfred Sanga in a five-set thriller along the way. 
Fish also had a strong showing at the Cincinnati Masters, where he defeated world number two Rafael Nadal in the quarterfinals before losing to the eventual champion Andy Murray in the semifinals. His performance at this tournament helped him qualify for the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals for the first time in his career. At the World Tour Finals, Fish lost all three of his games, losing to Joel Wilfred Sanga, Roger Federer, and Rafael Nadal. While he didn't advance out of the round robin stage, his appearance in the tournament was a significant accomplishment and a testament to the hard work he had put in throughout the year. But now, his health condition was worsening, and it felt like he wouldn't be able to sustain his performance at the highest level for a very long time. In March 2012, Fish was diagnosed with a heart condition called arrhythmia, which caused his heart to beat irregularly. He underwent a medical procedure to correct the issue and returned to play in May of that year. He then withdrew from the Winston-Salem Open and the US Open, where he was scheduled to play against Roger Federer in the quarterfinals. However, Fish's health problems persisted, and he withdrew from several tournaments throughout the year. In September 2012, he announced that he would be taking an indefinite break from tennis to focus on his health and well-being. Fish later revealed that he had been struggling with anxiety and panic attacks, which had worsened after his heart procedure. He sought treatment for these issues, including therapy and medication, and eventually returned to tennis in 2013. While Marty Fish returned to tennis in 2013 after taking a break to focus on his health, he continued to struggle with anxiety and panic attacks. In an interview with USA Today in 2014, Fish revealed that he had experienced a panic attack during a match at the 2012 US Open and that he was still taking medication to manage his anxiety. But the fatal blow was yet to come. In 2015, Marty Fish suffered from another health issue that forced him to end his season prematurely. He had been dealing with anxiety and panic attacks since his heart procedure in 2012, and they resurfaced during the summer hard court season that year. At the Cincinnati Masters Tournament in August 2015, Fish had to retire from his second round match due to what he later described as a severe anxiety attack. The climax of Fish's health issues in 2015 came when he publicly announced that he was suffering from severe anxiety disorder and was retiring from professional tennis. He had previously revealed his struggle with the disorder and had taken a break from the sport to deal with it. Fish has since become an advocate for mental health awareness in sports, speaking openly about his own experiences and encouraging others to seek help when needed. In recent years, several high-profile tennis players have spoken out about their struggles with anxiety and depression. Naomi Osaka, for example, withdrew from the 2021 French Open citing mental health concerns and later took a break from tennis to focus on her well-being. She has been open about her struggles with anxiety and social phobia and has become an advocate for mental health awareness in sports. Other athletes such as Simone Biles and Michael Phelps have also spoken out about their experiences with mental health issues, emphasizing the importance of prioritizing mental well-being. Tennis organizations such as the ATP and WTA have also taken steps to address mental health concerns among players. In 2021, the ATP launched a mental health initiative that includes a confidential mental health support line for players and a mental health task force. The WTA has also created a mental health resource center and provides mental health support to players throughout its partnership with the International Tennis Federation. Marty Fish's story is one of perseverance, resilience, and courage. Despite facing significant health challenges throughout his career, he was able to achieve great success in tennis and inspire others with his story. Fish's openness about his struggles with anxiety and panic attacks has helped to break down the stigma surrounding mental health issues in sports and has encouraged others to seek help when needed.